the Season 7 Pirate Emporium is finally here. We get a brand new plunder pass, a new costume, weapons, a ship set, new emotes, along with a few brand new cosmetics. This is the Captaincy Pirate Emporium. Starting off this Emporium refresh, we have a brand new Season Pass to progress. The Season 7 Plunder Pass is available for 999 ancient coins, containing 13 Pirate Emporium items to unlock. This month's new cosmetic set is called the Wrangler. First up in the Wrangler ship set is the helm. This fish-themed helm is almost a solid wheel containing the head of a fish with pretty sharp teeth. I'm actually liking this wheel just for the fact that it contains a small centered peg. The cannons are quite large with what appears to be two small aquariums in each wheel. And if you haven't noticed already, these cannons are basically the racker cannons. Using the cannons, the light bulb on top acts almost like a crosshair. Climbing inside of the cannon gives us that feeling that we're trapped inside the mouth of a fish, which is actually kind of cool looking. I'm actually a fan of the cannon flare as well, quick dispersal, and it's got little fishies in it. The capstan contains spears for pegs and again, a small aquarium in the center. The standard figurehead is one of the largest figureheads I think we've seen in the game. The figurehead is a large wrecker fish with a hook in front of its face. Moving on to the hull and standard sails. I find these two pieces quite plain if I'm honest, which gives off the vibes that these could have been better placed in the normal shipwright or even as a reward for the plunder pass. The collector's figurehead and seals are a small upgrade with the figurehead's eyes changing along with a bulb in front of its head instead of a hook. Let me know in the comments what you think of this ship set. The Wrangler fishing rod is the first rod we've seen in a while in game and to be honest it isn't actually that bad. If you've a few spare ancient coins I recommend a purchase. Here we have the new Wrangler costume along with its emote. This costume emote has a water dripping effect along with pulling a crab out of the costume, which is actually a nice touch. On to the Bilge Rat emote bundle containing a total of four weapon emote poses to suit each weapon. The first is the Bilge Rat pistol pose. Then we have the Bilge Rat blunderbuss pose. The Bilge Rat cutlass pose, which basically has your pirate falling asleep mid pose. Oh, yep, he's awake again. And the Bilge Rat eye of reach pose. These poses are all very similar to some previously released weapon poses, so I think they could have done a little better with this pack. The second emote bundle in this month's Emporium is the Portable Portrait Emote Bundle. This consists of six emotes that allows your character to whip out a picture frame and start getting those selfies. With this bundle, I'm really excited to see some of the community's creativity and see what sort of photos they can create with these six emotes. Just like every month, one free emote is available to all pirates, so be sure to head to the Emporium to pick up your free emote, Promising Portrait. I think the pistol is one of the thinnest pistols we've seen in the game, with the bulb acting like an iron sight on top, which is a nice touch to the weapon. When it comes to the blunderbuss, I was fully expecting this to completely fill the screen, but to be honest, it's actually not that bad. The Eye of Reach, though, seems to fill half of the screen with the bulb on top of the sniper. I'd be pretty happy with this weapon if they basically removed the bulb from the weapon altogether. To be honest, I have nothing really to say about the sword other than it basically is a stick with a light. So all in all, I'm not really the biggest fan of this weapon bundle. The last set of cosmetics to look at are not only brand new to the Emporium, but brand new to Sea of Thieves with Captaincy finally coming to the game. Along with being able to name your ship, you can also pick a nameplate to go with it. And here we see five nameplates priced at 599 ancient coins each. The last thing in the Emporium to talk about is of course the ship renaming deed. When picking a ship name in Sea of Thieves, you are bound to that name. So purchasing this deed will allow you to select another name for your ship. With this costing 499 ancient coins, I would consider this quite a pricey name change. So before you purchase your first ship, I'd recommend you being 100% happy with what you choose. And that's it for this month's Pirate Emporium. Let me know in the comments what you'll be purchasing from this month's store. Until the next one, thanks for watching.